Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an airline pilot, and over the past couple of days I've got a couple of comments there from people saying like, hey, for those maneuvers you did in the Amsterdam swingover videos, you would surely lose your pilot's license. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, no, you wouldn't lose your license over that, but I got you covered today. We are definitely going to lose it. So, IRA Simulations PC21 at Edmonton Airport, and we are going to have a huge lot of fun on this one. Also, this is probably my only 4K 60 frame per second video that I am going to record over a long time, unless I decide to run the Grand Canyon Challenge with you guys. But if you want to see that one, do let me know in the comments below. Alright then, for today, let's head right into our PC21 and have a little bit of fun. That's going to be the batteries coming on. And the NAF light going on. Cancel that warning, please. Thank you very much. Alright then, so... Fire test on the left side, fire test on the right side, lamp test, all of which are working. Perfect, thank you. Alright then, very cool. Power lever, full range is free. Very good. Let's go ahead with our engine startup. So... Canopy safety pin removed, let's close that canopy down and have a little bit of fun. Right, canopy is closed, thank you very much, red anti-collision light can come on and we can run the engine auto start. So, NG. Rest of the plane is running up nicely, 13% we're gonna turn on the fuel, here we go. And we are running up nicely. All right, very good. So, before we make our taxi to the runway, let's make sure that the ejection seat is armed. So we're gonna pull the cover over here. And here we go. Then, oxygen can come on on our side and we need to turn it on in the back here as well. Otherwise, we're just gonna get Lawson's warnings. Right then, looks good. We've got two good engine starts. A clear disconnect, clear signal on the right hand side with a pin and have a very good day. Right, starting up instruments. Gonna take like a minute or so. You can see it up here. So we've got about a minute to run. In the meantime, let's have a quick look around for the uh, wind sucks. Now, here's a clear one indicating runway 07. There's a clear one indicating runway 25. Which of those we're gonna use? I tell you honestly, we're gonna go with the runway that is going to provide us the nicest procedure, which is gonna be runway 25. Okay, cool. So everything's aligning up here. I'm not gonna be bothered configuring anything. After all, for losing license, you don't need to do everything exactly correctly, do you? All right then, very good. So, we can turn on the landing light to advise people we're about to start taxiing. And as soon as the displays have started up, which is going to be any second now, we can be on the run. Here we go. Alright, parking brake released. Let's get going. Right, still getting a seat warning here. I do believe I need to pull the pin on the uh, aft seat as well. Alright, a little bit of wind here at like uh, 40 knots in a little bit of cross angle. You can see it down here on this play, so 13 knots now. That shall be fine for our takeoff and we shall be fine for um, the maneuver. Okay then, so the big question is how quickly can they send the authorities to take away our license? from the moment where we start committing offenses. Now, I would say we've got quite some good cards here to make it away. However, we cannot do that in the air, so we need to return after our landing and uh, get going by car. That's probably gonna be our best chance after this one. Right then, very good. We're in position. Flaps take off. Flight controls are checked. Then let's turn on the lights. We'll probably not want to turn on the recognition lights. 
And then we should have a safety pin down here as well. Very good. All right, and with that, we're ready to go. Are you guys? So, take off. Okay, that's power set. Speed is coming alive. Okay, 90 knots, rotate. Positive climb. Up the gear. Alright, that is looking good. 130 knots, up the flaps. Alright, don't care the traffic pattern. Let's start with a little noise offense, okay? That's probably just gonna cost you some money, not the license yet, but we want to get going slowly and we want to do a little bit of a warm-up procedure at first, do we? Alright, that's a hospital down there. That may be good to one to go over at first. And once we're done with that, we're gonna head down to the real challenge of the day. That one, by the way, you can start doing yourself. Whether you have the Atom Airport or not, what we're about to do will certainly be available in your simulator by default already, so everybody can go and try it out for themselves. Okay, clear on the left, there is no sign of any kind of police helicopters, let alone the military yet, same on the right hand side. And a quick look down at the configuration, flaps are up, gear is up as well, that means we're in a good shape to start. Alright, anyone see that wind park on the right hand side there, especially the part that's so neatly lined up next to the coastline. Right, let's give it a try. So, 310 knots. I don't I believe we shouldn't go much further, but then again, I am sure we are going to get uh, we're going to lose a little bit of speed here anyway in a moment. All right. So, Yeehaw! So, guys, that is how you professionally lose your license. But be sure to do it right, otherwise it's not just going to be the license that's on stake. Right. Don't see the possibility of cutting between those, so let's take these here instead. And here we go! Alrighty! And one more around you can hear the airplane is really at its maximum angle of attack right now and there we go all right let's go back number one two Ooh, ain't gonna catch that one nor this one. So keep in mind, this one is about losing your license, not your life. So, take it easy. Alright! Yeehaw! And if that's not enough for you guys, then let's go ahead and do last one. We're gonna return to the field now. I think we've committed enough offenses to go beyond jail for a couple of uh, weeks, months, years, decades. Well, surely at least a little bit, so let's go ahead and return to Edmonton Airport. Just like last time, we are going to um, be landing through the traffic pattern, after all, we are good pilots, so we do want to obey all those procedures by all means. We're just going to do a little alteration for the pattern. Let's do it that way. So, that's a field straight down there. And I do suppose we took off into this direction, so let's change things around a little bit. And this time we're going to arrive into the other direction. Right, there's our field, there's our runway 07. So, let's lose a little of that speed. Oh, 
170 knots, gear down, flaps approach. And landing flaps. Alright, that shall do. So tell me, when's been the last time that you've flown a vertical traffic pattern? Not the finest one, I have to say, but it's gonna do. Bit fast, but come on, we aren't gonna fly the plane for a while anyway. Though I've got a feeling we are gonna do one more. Okay, lie to the people. So in order to have at least a little bit of deductic value in this video, how, how about we do at least one proper traffic pattern in here. So that's gonna be gear up, flaps up, pattern altitude is a thousand feet in here. We make sure that we don't go too fast. Not that in the end any mother is telling their children like, oh you can't watch that NG driver channel anymore anyway. He's just doing stupid things there. Right, 180 knots, 1000 feet, that's exactly how it's supposed to be up here in Empton. And then our pattern leads us over that little um, industrial area we can see in that village over there. Do note that I've even reduced my power this time. Okay, cool, right and downwind, a little bit far from the field, I do believe we need to go over the edge of that little uh, village in front over there. Okay then, there's the field on our right hand side. Maintaining pattern altitude at least roughly speed can come down. Okay, there's a field. So, flaps approach. We're below 170, landing gear can come down. And there is a field. Stay clear of the village over here. Landing flaps. Okay, right hand base, runway 07, full stop landing. So here we go, reducing to optimum angle of attack. And here it is. Okay, nicely established. A little bit of crosswind from the right there. But that is all okay. So, angle of attack is under control. Very nice. Power off. Flare. And here we go. Okay, so we survived, we made it all the way back, now we gotta run to the car before the aviation authority arrives. But they're coming from Hamburg, I believe, maybe from Bremen, so we probably have half an hour advantage. Alright then, let's find a good place to jump the fence, where nobody's gonna see us. Tell you what this is gonna do. Alright, park brake set, anti-call off, landing light off, probe beat off, FMS off, displays off, and off we go.
So, better make sure we don't shoot ourselves out the plane. So, this is gonna take a little, that canopy ain't gonna unlodge un until the prop has cleared, so this is the most critical area of our entire mission today. Make sure that that thing's turned off. Right, then oxygen off. Propeller is about to stop. Can we open up already? Not yet. Here we go. Alright then, hatch in place. Power off. And now it's time to run. Alright guys, see you on the next one, hopefully. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment to let me know what you think of it. And if you really liked it, would appreciate a small donation through the Buy Me Coffee link in the video description below. Alright then, on the run.